Tonight, a Megan family devastated after a woman and her nephew died today of carbon monoxide poisoning. Camila Williams is in studio to tell us more about the victims and to share carbon monoxide safety tips. Family and friends told me that 27-year-old Nashira Brown and 15-year-old Nasir Reagan were both good, high-spirited individuals. Their families are just trying to figure out what to do next. And I just can't describe the pain because I still don't think it's real. Parnell Brown is hurting after losing her pride and joy. I lost my daughter today. Her brother Charles lost what he called his mini-me. That's my only son. I got three daughters, but that's my only boy. Nashir Brown and Nasir Reagan were found dead inside their home Tuesday morning. Parnell Brown said they just moved here from Philadelphia on Monday. Bibb County Coroner Leon Jones says authorities suspect they died from carbon monoxide poisoning because a generator was running inside the home. Most of the time it's in this half like this, it's in the winter time. People are using generation for heat, not during the, the hot days like we're having. Carbon monoxide is an odorless and colorless gas that comes from fuel burning appliances like generators, furnaces, and gas stoves. Under Georgia state law, all new one and two family homes and town homes that are three stories or less must have carbon monoxide detectors and they must be installed in general sleeping areas. But Coroner Jones says there was no detector in the home. Charles Brown says he is devastated. My heart goes to my sister. My heart goes to myself if I can hold the heart. It's like it's cold right now, you know, and that's just how I feel. And his sister wants to let her daughter and nephew know one thing. But I love you, Lashira. I love you, Lashira. CO poisoning in your home by making sure you have CO alarms in all sleeping areas, checking fuel burning systems annually, and knowing the symptoms of CO2 poisoning. Back to you, Lori. Thank you, Camila. Now, those symptoms are dizziness, headaches, and confusion. You can go to the EPA.gov website to learn more about CO poisoning and prevention. Taking a closer look at safety tips, the Georgia Poison Center says these are the best practices to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Make sure to install at least one carbon monoxide detector near the sleeping areas in your home. Never use charcoal grills or portable gas stoves inside your home and do not use an oven or gas range to heat your home. Keep generators outside and at least 20 feet away from windows, doors and vents and never leave automobiles running in the garage even if the garage door is open. You can find more tips on GeorgiaPoisonCenter.org.